Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Welcome to another episode. Thanks for all my subscribers out there. Show me some love. Obviously, it's picking up track. Uh, welcome to Uvita, Costa Rica. All my Espanol friends out there, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm still learning Spanish, so bear me out. Help with. Anyway, I took a bus here from my volunteer, which was a week long on a farm, exchanging my time, which is like three hours a day, three to five hours a day is roughly the normal volunteer. It's called War Packers. I decided to try it, something new, just to get my hands dirty again as I travel. In exchange, you get some accommodations, some meals, some drinks. But it's just another way, as you travel the world, instead of staying in a resort, all-inclusive, you can get your hands dirty with the locals. You learn more about the food, the culture, even the language as well. So, for all you naturalists out there, I like nature and just being balanced and one with the earth. Um, this channel is for you. So as I travel to these different countries and cities, you'll see I stay a lot of naturalist theme, sustainable theme type of accommodations is because I do love nature. I love animals and being close to the ocean. A lot of my episodes you see me at the beach or just showing you how the beach looks. So here's another one. This one is called Uvita. It's on the Pacific Circa de or close to Drake, Costa Rica, and Jaco, Costa Rica. It's on the Pacific. I showed you the Caribbean coast. If you check out my Limon and my Puerto Viejo episodes, you'll see I went to the Caribbean coast. So Costa Rica has the Pacific coast and the Caribbean coast, which is pretty cool. Here in the Pacific, we're going to see it's my first time here as well. You got a lot of waterfalls, national parks surfing, scuba diving, snorkeling, boating, sailing, you name it. It's a very beautiful country. Again, it's one of my favorite countries thus far on the list. Eventually, I'll pick one to live and retire um, soon. So again, enjoy my channel. I'll give you a nice 360 view of how these different cities and countries look as I travel with the theme of giving you a naturalist local perspective getting your hands dirty as you travel and just being one with your surroundings um, again being in the city the hustle and bustle the busy lifestyle i understand i get it been there done that it's not my preference i seem to be more one and zen with balance so here at my accommodations, I'll show you around real quick. Let's turn the camera around nice and smooth. And that's my view there. Straight ahead is the Pacific Ocean. And this is a beautiful accommodation here. I'll leave some links and information in the description below for you guys could see. That's how it looks there. Beautiful bamboo trees there. Got some fish straight ahead in that little pond. Got some coconut trees. I've heard some howling monkeys earlier, so we're gonna see if we can spot a couple. There's some sloths here in this country as well. So yeah, this is my accommodations. If you notice, it's made out of bamboo and wood. Very sustainable, naturalist for the environment. And I'll leave a link for this accommodations if you choose to stay here. All right, so let's explore a little bit of the city, Uvita, Costa Rica. God bless. Okay, so this is the outside of the accommodations I'm staying. Then we're going to walk down. They have a lot of trails here, as you can see. I love to walk. It's a great way to explore things at a slower pace and you get some exercise while you're doing it so 
if you're new to my channel you'll see I do a lot of walking but I can show you a nice 360 view of things at a slower pace versus if you would just drive right by so they have a lot of trails here again I'll leave a link for this accommodations and it looks like they have fishies in here as well I see a few beautiful theme In Costa Rica, you have to look up a lot because you have a lot of nature above. So yeah, we're going to take a walk down to the more central area. Oh wow, look at this. We have an army of ants. See that? They're hard at work. <laughs> Look at that. Ants are very organized. They work as a team, as a unit. One of the hardest working animals, I would say, on the planet. Look at that. They're all along this trail here. Just keep an eye out for fire ants. <laughs> because they are very painful but in the tropics you see an abundance of insects birds mammals reptiles so Costa Rica is no exception there's another little pond there get some fishies in there I see them you can sit out here and relax Get some banana trees there, a lot of fruits and vegetables in the tropics as well. All right, let's take a stroll down this trail. We're going to head downtown, give you a nice 360 view of how that looks. And then the beach, I want to see the Pacific Beach, the first time for me as well in this country, Costa Rica. And maybe a waterfall, and we'll wrap up this episode. Again, I try to keep these episodes around 30 minutes, give and take, to grab your attention, and then you can do your own research and exploring. Because previously I've had some episodes where they're like two hours long, like the San Jose one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, people's attention span is pretty limited. So, just giving you a nice little view and then you can come and check out these places on your own if you can visit if you can't visit then now you see how it looks okay let's see if we can find a sloth or some monkeys right, there's some butterflies in abundance here all right so let's take a walk downtown okay close to my accommodations is this waterfall here. Supposedly has a natural slide, as you can see straight ahead. Just slide down and enjoy the... That's the price there, 2,000 colonas. Again, one US is about 510 colonas. This is the information straight ahead. And depending on the weather, might come here now or tomorrow so it looks so let me ask some questions and then see if i can view the waterfall from here if not then you just pay and enter and enjoy it but we get some rain moving in so i'm gonna head to the beach instead okay so i'm walking to the beach now just saw this home for sale it looks pretty brand new modern here in Vita. Costa Rica. There's a lot of restaurants, some yoga classes here, spa. Prime real estate looks like, obviously. 360 view here. You got some mountain view. Straight ahead there. As you can see the clouds are forming. 
Getting ready to rain up there, but supposedly not at the beach. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to take this road down to the main street. I'm going to show you the bus station. You can obviously rent a car and drive here from San Jose, the capital city. Or if you could take the bus. Once you're here, I'm sure you can walk. There's some bicycle rentals as well. So this city is also known for the whales and dolphin sighting. Uh, we're going to check out this beach here, Uvita Beach, where low tide you can actually walk out to this beach. Looks like a whale's tail. gallery there. All right, very nice. I actually like that Suzuki. Looks like a Jeep. <laughs> a little bit smaller. Really good on gas. See those a lot here in the Americas. Cafe Vivo in Vita spot there you can check out like that naturalist theme again okay we got a little brewery here whale tail brewery All right if you like some fresh beer check that spot out there all right so we're going to continue walking down to the main strip supermarket or restaurants and getting closer to the beach like share subscribe and have a job last day all right so about to approach this main road where you have your bus station supermarkets or restaurants you name it and getting closer to the beach that's where we're headed but I uh, just want to show you guys this bakery here It's my first time visiting this city as well, Uvita. This one looks interesting. I love fresh fruits, vegetables, food, bakery as well. So I know you guys will like this spot. Take a little peek inside at the menu. Okay, all right, looks good. Looks like a nice little cafe. Got AC going in here. Right. Nice. Again, organic naturalist theme. Right. And there's your drinks. They have coffee, obviously. Got your cakes. Carrot cake. Nutella cake. Yummy. So now you see how it looks on the inside. Definitely recommend when you visit Uvita. I'll be back. It's my hangout spot. <laughs> All right, let's take you guys to the beach. That's the goal for the day. Again, I can't show you everything. At least you see a little snippet, right? There's that Suzuki again. Very popular here. I'm gonna have to get me one of these. It's like a smaller version of a Jeep. <clears throat> All right, let's head to the main strip straight ahead. Got a couple questions to ask the bus. So I'm gonna head, continue on down the Pacific coast here, in Costa Rica. Maybe hit up Panama, we'll see. Okay, so we made it to the main road here. I believe you can take this all the way up to San Jose and even to Panama. It's like the transcontinental highway. All right? You can take this all the way up to the USA, Canada, South America. So this is the main strip here. Got your rent a car there. Got some fresh fruits straight ahead. 
A lot of restaurants. Got your bank there. ATM, right? Alright, so let's cross the street. Show you guys the bus station. There is a taxi here. I'm not sure if there's Uber here, but I decided to walk instead. All right, let's head over there to that uh, bus station. I'm very good for for Rignon, for the water is the best in the world. Uh, this guy is selling his fresh fruits. Look at those mangoes; they're huge, it's right? The best, uh, they keep infection the pain. They keep parasites. They need. They keep parasites. Huge mangoes. Parasites. Fruits are very fresh here. Alright, cross the street and we're gonna go to the bus station. Nice 360 view here. As I walk, you can see we got a little mountain. So that's straight ahead, my accommodations and the waterfall there. And this main highway. Right? And some more restaurants. So let's continue on to the bus station and the beach. There's a supermarket to the left. Super Pacifico. Right? Another cafe here. Cebu restaurant and coffee store, bakery and gelato. Okay. It's a real estate office. If you want to buy some property down here, got some Indian cuisine, Italian restaurant there. Oh, yeah, very walkable, small city. Got your gym if you want to work out. Atlantis Gym. There's your information there. One stop shop. Nice 360 view, right? Got your garden center there. And here's the bus stop. So I took the bus here last night from my volunteer at the farm. Guapilis. So now I'm showing you how it looks here in Uvita. So it looks. You can get around the country pretty efficiently by bus or you can rent a car. Oh, you got charging stations here too. I love to see that. Get your electric vehicle, charge her up. They're popping up all over the world now. Right. Very efficient way, cost effective. All right, let's uh, show you guys how it looks here inside the bus station. And I have a couple questions because I'm going to continue on. Again, very inexpensive way to travel the country is by bus. Just got to have patience because sometimes it takes longer. That's how it looks inside the bus station. Right. Got your cafe here, get some fresh fruits. Alright, All right. that's how it looks. Alright, let's go uh, check out some ticket prices here. Vita. Costa Rica. All right, so we're about to wrap up this episode and we're almost to the beach. We've been walking. As you can see here, it's famous for the whale sighting, dolphins, a lot of scuba diving, snorkeling, spider monkeys. So this is the road that leads to the national park and the beach, the Tiva Playa. 
National Park, I believe it's called the Morena Bolina. Parque Morena Bolina. Pick up some towels, as you can see there. That's the sloth. I'm yet to see one up close. That's how it looks. Beach towels here, Got some souvenirs you can pick up. And that's how the taxis look here. You know, Diva. Looks like that. A four by four Toyota. Rough terrain to get around, right? That's how it looks. Got some souvenirs here. Some sea turtles. Oh, that's very nice. How they carved that out of wood there. Might pick up a shirt here, if anything. Let's have a look. Some bracelet, necklace. Yeah. Got a variety of souvenirs here. Pura Vida. That's the saying here in Costa Rica. Pura Vida. ¿Cuánto costa esto? Eh, colones, in colones? Seis mil colones. Okay, guys, you heard that? A shirt like that. Six million colones. Or six thousand colones, sorry. One US is five hundred and ten colones, so you do the math. All right, so let's uh, head to the beach because I'm ready to cool off and walk in for a good hour. Get my exercise for the day. All right, like, share, subscribe. Should be about 2,000 colonas to enter this park, which leads to the beach. Just want to show you guys how it looks. Let's get a way to get around those electric bikes there. Get some more restaurants. A lot of diving is popular here, surfing as well. I can actually see the waves straight ahead, right? That's how it looks. A lot of land for sale here. Kind of pricey though. See that? Almost half a million dollars for ocean view. Prime real estate. Anything that's close to the beach or a decent sized body of water, <laughs> you're going to pay top dollar. That's just how it is. All right. You got the mountain view back there. All right, let's go uh, see how this beach looks. Emotiva, Costa Rica. Got some fresh smoothies there. Cool off a little bit, right? I see a lot of English here. Emotiva, Costa Rica. I'm assuming because we have a lot of English speaking retirees, expats digital nomads that live down here all right so straight ahead is I don't know if you could see but that whale's tail they call it in low tide the water decrease and then you can walk out it looks like a whale's tail but I believe it's high tide now so we won't be able to see that much okay there's another restaurant here all right Okay, let's continue walking straight ahead. Nice day today. There's some attractions here that you can do, right? Diva 360, Kano Island, Whale Tail. So that Whale Tail I'm talking about, straight ahead, we're gonna walk out. So we're about right here. I walked down from the mountains, so we're gonna walk out here and low tide you can walk out to this whale's tail but in the high tide the water comes back up so you got a couple other options here as well all right that's how it looks nice 360 view okay let's go to the beach because i want to cool off a little bit all right so here's the entrance to the beach benvenidos parque nacional marino Balina. Okay, so this is the entrance. I'm sure there's a fee. Again, I think it's about 2,000 colonas. You can park here. Got some parking space there. 
souvenirs. Let's have a look. Nice little mountain. That's where all the rain is, but not on the beach. So let's go pay and cool off a little bit. But for that, I don't know if you guys know, but I love my natural necklace and beads, right? Got this here, that there, got this here. This is arte and bamboo. Hola, yes, yes. I see, thank you, thank you. My word here. Okay, you make it, obviously. So, for example, ¿cuánto costa eso? This is cuesta 3,000 colones cualquiera. 3,000, total 3,000? Lo que quiera. Okay. Todo tiene un solo precio. Si se lleva dos. ¿También? Sí, lo que tú quieras. Ok, 3,000, ok. Si tú se lleva dos, yo te regalo las números 3. Ah, bueno, bueno. Possible return, ok? For La playa, gracias. Okay, so about 3,000. Coco, okay. Que pasa, wey? Cuanto costa coco? Mil. Coconut, eh? Coconut. Okay. Cuanto? Mil. Mil, okay. You heard that, guys? 1,000. Muy bien. La playa primero, okay? Me returno. Okay, here's the entrance here. There's some rules. As you can see, the prices. We no longer have COVID. <laughs> There's some rules here, what not to do, right? All of those rules, that way we all can enjoy it. There's always one or two that's gonna mess it up for everybody, right? Parque Nacional Marino Balina. Got some whales there. All right, so let's go and pay and get in. There's a nice 360 view. So if you wanna visit, you can see how it looks. If you can't visit, you still see how it looks. Win-win, right? All right, God bless. Okay, so I just entered the National Park and I sweet-talked the clerk a little bit. I was like, hey, you guys do military discount? <laughs> and he gave me a salute and he's like, go ahead and enter for free. Well, thanks for your service. Much appreciated. So here is a little note in this area part of Baja town was located and its history was strongly influenced by fishermen. The receiver was erected in the 1970s and has been disappearing as climate change causes sea levels to rise. As a result, stronger wave and extraordinary tides contribute to coastal erosion and loss. You can scan that QR code there. All right, so this is how it looks. They're doing coral restoration and riptide currents. It's pretty high, so pay attention to the flags. I'm sure we're gonna see that there. All right, so let's enter. This is how it looks. As you enter inside, got some crocodiles, supposedly, so caution of that, watch your step. Crocodiles are salt water and fresh water. So don't be surprised if you see crocodiles in the ocean, <laughs> swimming. So this is how it looks here, right? See that whale's tail? So we're gonna walk coming this way. That's the whale's tail. But because it's high tide now, more than likely we won't be able to walk out. But let's look at that view, right? Surfer's paradise. All right. So it says, do not feed, do not swim with the crocodiles. <laughs> So there is a river that leads into the ocean. That's typical, All right? All right, so let's continue walking. A lot of coconut trees, I love it. Doing some maintenance, hola. Bien, bien. Hola, buena vida, sí. Okay, Baja Adventures, so there you have it. Look them up. If you wanna go do some deep sea fishing, hang out on the water. All right, so entering here. That's how it looks. Gets you closer to the ocean that we can see. It's a big tourist attraction here in Yutiva, Costa Rica. Gets you closer. All right, so. You have the river, 
that flows into the ocean here. So welcome to the Pacific Coast in Uvita, Costa Rica. So there you have the ocean, the Pacific Ocean straight ahead. I'm actually walking in the sand. That's how the sand looks there. All right. Great for surfing. If you want to come and surf here, the water feels great actually. Uh, for swimming, be cautious because the rip currents is pretty high, I'm sure. The water feels refreshing, not cold, not hot, refreshing. Beautiful. Got a lot of coconut trees here, so shouldn't have to worry about being thirsty. <laughs> Take you some coconuts. Just relax here on the beach. Boy! It's like somebody beat me to it there. Very high in potassium. Coconut water and the jelly. The sand feels great on my toes. Okay, so we got some tourists and locals here as well. Oh, that sand feels so good. Very soft and smushy. I like to walk barefoot. It's actually very therapeutic. Connecting to the sand here and the water. Nice 360 view, right? Vita! Costa Rica, that's how it looks. Like you got some little islands out there straight ahead. Very nice. So the whale's tail is straight ahead, but because the tide is high right now, we're not able to walk out. It looks like a whale's tail. That's why it's famous for that. A lot of coconut trees. Very nice. Gonna wrap up this episode now. Like, share, subscribe, and have a jobless day. Maybe try to take a swing at that waterfall tomorrow, right? But for now, I'm going to enjoy the sound of the ocean. Do some meditation while I'm here. Give thanks. A jewel at risk. The park is known worldwide for humpback whale watching. These whales migrate from the north, west coast of the United States and Mexico, and the south Antarctic Peninsula in search of warm and safe waters to reproduce their offspring. Marino Balina is one of four national parks that are most at risk of climate change impacts. If sea temperatures rise, the whales could find favorable conditions in other locations further north or south, affecting the local economy that depends on ecotourism. Like whales, other marine ecosystems and species such as dolphins, fish, and coral reefs would also be affected. Other livelihoods such as fisheries would be impacted. So you see that? Climate change is affecting even here in Costa Rica. There's your locals there working hard. I'm going to leave some tips for traveling for a future episode. Stay tuned for that. All right, let me go and take a little dip here in this beautiful Viva Playa, Costa Rica. Muy bien. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Hope you like my episode so far. Like, share, subscribe. Now I'm gonna do some swimming here in the ocean to relax, do some meditating. So this is my closing statement. Love what you do, do what you love. Keep things in check and balance. Try not to go overboard. Understand we're all humans, so we make mistakes. But in life, you can take but you need to give back as well. So this is my way of giving back by traveling, 
and showing you the beauty that Jah provides to all of us, right? Sharing is caring. One love. Till next time. Jah bless.